Hello, Holiday Cheer here, and as you can see, we have a lovely variety and assortment of pony merchandise, all for your greater viewing pleasure and unboxing pleasure. Um, I received a wonderful care package yesterday from the the ever lovely Pumpkin Glow and her beautiful artworks, um, and. This is a, mostly what was in it, except uh, this, which I purchased at a flea market, or actually an antique store, on a day I went flea marketing. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Um, so well, I'll mention some of the things. Uh, this is a loose figure. It's a uh, blind bag figure of Trixie Lulamoon. I also, at this flea market, and I should actually have had those over here to show, bought, um, like, uh, close to like a dozen more blind bag figures, and I intend to use them in a uh, painting people's custom pony OC project. So uh, DM me on Discord if you want a custom pony OC painted of you. Anyway, um, there was also, to go along with the Ringo Dash one she sent me once upon a time, a Pinkie Pie lollipop holder. It's a monstrosity, it's beautiful and cute. At the same time, this uh, this ball of Twilight, Pinky, Pleasure Shy, and of course the ever sporty Rainbow Dash. It's very appropriate that Rainbow Dash is on a ball. Um, one of these, a little squish. Uh, these are the little capsule squishies. We will unbox it. It's Scootaloo. So now, and also at the um, the flea market. I found a Sweetabelle, so now I have Sweetable, Sweetable and Scatolo, and all I need now is Apple Blom, and I have the finally, finally have toys of the Cutie Mark Crusaders, after like, you know, Hasbro never making them, ever, ever, yeah, thanks Hasbro, thanks for that, uh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting I get all those toys, so here's the real exciting things. Um, this is a pony bootleg, pony, S-Box, sweet and toy. This actually is, um, yeah, a little German, fantastic. I think it's actually, uh, not German, though. I think it's made in somewhere else, but I don't remember. I guess it is German, because it's got all the German wording on it. But this is really cool and special to me. Uh, zero to three, no. Octung. Um, it's really cool, so we're going to open this up and see what pony we got. There's actually, um, normally, uh, candy in here too, but Pumpkin had to take that out because you can't ship candy internationally or food of any kind. So let's see which pony is in the pony. Uh, first things first, we have, oh uh, yeah, here we go. These are actually called Sweet Box. Collect them all. We got Ponya, Cap Cap, BB, Marmalade, Caramel, Pony, uh, Zephyr, Choco, and Torty. I want Ponya because she's a Ponya. They are Pony Sweet Tooth. Pony Sweet Tooth, that's what they're actually called. So we actually have got in our little... This is really nice packaging, actually. These are actually pretty quality blind bags. We got this pony who is sitting on like a little... No, that's their tail, actually. I thought that was a lily pad. But they're like kind of fuzzy. And they have this kind of cool... It's not... It's very... Br it feels very brittle. Um, it's not, though. It's it's just like some kind of a weird, like, been uh, plastic, glittery plastic... Um, it's marmalade up there in the top. That's a really cool one to get, actually. Oh, it just smells like a toy. It doesn't smell like marmalade. I was hoping they might smell like that. Yeah, these are really cool figures. It's not, it's like, she'd actually be really pretty to take photos with. Uh, these, and they have almost like MLP style faces and eyes. These are some of the best bootlegs I've ever seen. When Pumpkin showed me, um, the one she got. I wanted one because they're just such, I mean, if I lived in Germany and I could get these, I would have had all eight by now because they're just like really nice bootlegs. So Pony Sweet Tooth, 
was a success. Now onto the, the, the main event. This is a Generation 3, so you might all be like, oh no, why would you want a Generation 3? Well this one, I found it an antique mall for six bucks. This goes for like, I don't know, 40 bucks or something online, mint in box. Uh, this box is not in any way. Somebody had had this out and they put it back in the box to like, I think. Or they've just opened the box. But this is Dazzle Bright Pony, Bow Tie, Butterfly Island, Dazzling Cutie Mark. Yeah, it's like old Gen 3 My Little Pony in box. But I'm not going to keep her in the box because I don't believe in that. Today is an extra special day. The sun is brighter, the sky is bluer, and it feels like magic is in the air. The ponies have found lots of exciting new places in Ponyville, TM. And they're about to discover the most magical place of all, Butterfly Island, TM. Come join them on their exciting adventure. What's that colorful object up in the sky? Another one of Bowtie's beautiful kites as she likes to run around as fast as she can along the shore, flying kites as many time, as many as ten kites at a time. Yeah, I have a thing for kites. And ponies that like kites, apparently. I mean, you got I got lots of Starlight Glimmers, and I've also got Skyflyer now, and this pony is also a kite-flying pony. So apparently, we have ponies who like kites. Um, let's see if we can get her out of the box. Huh, this, this is actually glued. You can see it's actually glued to the back, so in order to get the pony out, you just have to pull the pony out. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Unless they did this later, like they they took it out and then they put it back in by gluing it in to the box, to the back of the box. So I guess you gotta somehow pull her mane out of the... So this obviously hasn't been opened before because her mane is still in this like little thing. She comes with the typical like little pony. I'm ruining the collector's value. This brush is even, there's actual wire holding that in place. Actual like, real wire. So you'd have to, like, this is ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever had to unpack from anything. I'm going to try opening the bottom of it. I'm going to have to completely destroy this box in order to get this open. Completely, 100%, which is a shame because it's old and it's been kept, you know, in box. Uh, let's see. It's not that old. It's probably from the early 2000s or something. Yeah, 2004. So it's, it's old, but it's not, like, this is, uh, the... It's not from the 80s. It's not. If I had like G1 ponies in box, I might not actually take them out of the box. Here we go. Maybe you can side me and she get at the pony. Maybe. Maybe. Fight. Stuff under there. Got her tail free. I'm gonna get her legs free of this horrible clamshell. Packaging. Actually, this is better than the clamshell packaging of today. Now, how do we free her mane? Just pull that out. And we're gonna have to really yank on that. Oh, there, we did it. We broke it, actually. And then we have to... I do like... This beach background in here. It's cool, but I'm gonna toss this, because I don't really want to keep this whole thing. And it's not really easy to save it. So let's try to get the uh, the brush out by literally having to bend this wire. Because <laughs> I can't cut that, even if I had better scissors. So I'm going to do that later. Because that, I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. Why would they, who's going to steal the dang brush? We're here to see this pony. So she's the Gen 3 sculpt that were kind of like a cross between Gen 4 and, and Gen 1. Like they, as they were getting, like it still looks like more like a horse, but it's got kind of some different features. She's got bow ties because her name is bow tie. The very pretty, very nice mane actually. The mane is still the same kind of uh, stuff they've had on Piney, Piney forever. I like that she has the one hoof that's like the pink My Little Pony symbol. She's actually very um, flexible. The classic, how does the head turn? No, no, it has the, there's a line there, but you really have to struggle to turn the head, so that's okay. I'm not that worried about turning her head. She doesn't have the cutie mark on this side. But overall, she's pretty solid. 
I think my camera has turned a little bit over the course of this. Let's actually look at her, like, uh, the stuff that came with her, comes with her real quick. This probably shows me what other My Little Ponies I can get. Let's, let's find out what other My Little Ponies we could buy, you know, now in stores. Let's see, so there's Bowtie, there's uh, Beachberry, Sea Spray, that was a Transformer. That's interesting, she also looks a lot like Trixie Lula Moon. Kiwi Tart, Shell Bell, Fizzy Pop, Fizzy Pop Berry Twista. Water Fire, so I wonder if tw uh, her name being Fizzle Pop Berry Twist was actually ever an Island Rainbow, Rainbow Island. Assortment also includes Strawberry Reef and Flippity Flop. Fl I want Flippity Flop. This one actually can tr includes Ribbon Wishes and Coconut Cream also, but I want Flippity Flop. That's a pony that I definitely want. Oh my gosh, there's so many more of them. Oh man! Tularula! And Minty. <laughs> Tula, wanna get a wanna wanna Tula Rula plushie? Tula Rula is a pony I've met. A person in um in LOE, Legends of Equestria, the game I play, the pony game I play, has a head of pony named Tula Rula. I also want this pony named Shenanigans. Ponies had so much better names in Gen 3. Bad. The Frilly Frocks Boutique. That's what Rarity should have totally named her. Her thing. I want the Frilly Frocks Boutique. I'm going to look for some of this stuff. I could get Dream Blue and Rainbow Berry. So, yeah. Uh, musical Wishes Jewelry Box with Sky Wishes. There's so many cool ponies. You could get all the ponies in the world. Um... You can get flippity-flop, and you can also get... Fresh eyes. See you next time.